हेलो एंड वेलकम टू एजुकेशन एट एस एस बी जे ऑनलाइन वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी आर इन चैप्टर मोशन ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ सी बी एस सी राइट एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव स्टडीड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिस्टेंस डिस्प्लेसमेंट and calculations of speed average speed and so on we shall start this tutorial with an activity and what is that activity to draw the graph and what kind of graph this graph is called distance versus time graph you may expect this question in your future exams where you need to draw graph some values of time will be given to you as well as how much distance body covers for every second or hour whichever is the unit for that what we need to have is a graph paper and suppose if you are asked to draw without the graph paper you can simply use your scale and a white page and draw the graph for the given values which are given now here we shall do the same activity by taking some sample values for that we need to have two axes on our paper that is y axis as well as x axis now i am using a white page and trying to draw a graph since values of values of time taken as well as the distance are given remember that time taken will be always on x axis so this is time taken and i am taking it in second here the unit of time is in second whereas on y axis we shall take a distance now let us have some values sample values what kind of graph is it since it is distance and time values are used here we shall call it as distance versus time graph now we shall have the values for the time in second and generally it is a serial value 1 second 2 second 3 second and so on till 9 second and therefore you can represent this on x axis so it's very simple you can have your own division on graph it's very simple already divisions are made you can take a proper scale and draw it but here we shall have equal divisions and indicate all the time on x axis so remember all these are in second so 1 second 2 second 3 second 4 second and so on in the same way now we have a distance covered now distance covered varies right and therefore these are not in series you see sometimes from 1 second to 2 second in 1 second it is covering 2 meter distance from here to here 2 meter distance and again here 2 meter distance for next second 2 meter distance but it changes here and therefore we have to be very careful in representing this distance covered so what is the minimum value 
that is 2 the maximum value is 10 so accordingly I will select the y axis and write down all the scales properly here so I have take, taken two divisions right from here to here it's a 2 meter now we'll go for the first value when the time is showing one second the object was there at two meter let's say an object is moving right an object is moving object may be any moving body and the time when it was here it shows right one second and that time that time there is a marking which is given two meter okay on road let's suppose that there is a mark where it is written two meter so this is that two meter on y axis right and this is the x axis at what time it covers two meters for the first second so our point will come somewhere here and for the just look at this if you draw a line here it will meet at one second and on the other side it will be at two meters so that gives us understanding that here the coordinates are what are one and two x is equal to one that is one second and y is equal to two that is two meter right so we need not draw this every time we'll go for the next value that is when the vehicle goes slightly front when the vehicle goes slightly front right and when the time reads two seconds that time there is a marking on the road which is at four meter and that means somewhere here it will be so i'll draw that and i'll join this line right in the same way for the third please look at it carefully right and you will have to do this on graph paper when i give you some activity oriented project work right so for three second the distance covered is six meters so six meter will be somewhere here and then for the fourth second for the fourth second the distance covered is eight meter so it comes here and now you look at this line since it covers equal intervals in equal equal distance in equal intervals of time so every one second it covers how much of distance it covers two meter of distance for every so equal distance covered in equal intervals of time and then you get a straight line please remember this suppose if you can make this as a and this as b right now a b is a straight line what does it mean it means that body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time suppose if body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time what type of motion it represents it represents a uniform motion right it represents a uniform motion so definition of uniform motion is a motion where a body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time so this represents a uniform motion right so we shall take this portion a little high here at on the top so why we are uh, going this video tutorial with few questions and answers because this type of question you can expect it as an objective type question in your question paper they give you this type of graph and ask you what type of motion it represents so i said that if it's a straight line graph it's a uniform motion 
we'll see few more questions on this what is the total distance covered between a to b so between a to between b how much of the total distance covered many times we make a we tend to make a mistake that we take a distance from 0 to 8 and we straight away write 8 meter distance so that we shouldn't do we have to see from where it started the moving body was here at this point right which was 2 meter distance and finally it has gone to this point right and therefore between this how much of distance so 2 meter here then next 2 meter and then next 2 meter all 3 together it becomes 6 meter right so carefully you have to measure the distance covered which is on the y axis and on x axis suppose if the question comes that how much of time it has taken to move from A to B, how much of time it has taken to move from A to B, again the same way we have to find out at A, it was not at 0, it was at 1 second and at B, when the journey reaches to B, then it is at 4 second, between that here 1 second, 1 second and 1 second, all together will be, you know, 3 second, right? And suppose if a question comes, what is the speed of this vehicle? Speed while traveling from A to B. Now we all know that speed is a distance traveled divided by time. Right? And therefore, you can simply calculate the speed. And what can be the speed? 6 divided by 3. That is 6 meter divided by 3 second. 2 meter per second. Right? Now please carefully look at all these questions. Till we reach from A to B. So far we have taken a few questions here to understand the journey between A to B. Now we will continue the journey. Right? So where it was? The vehicle was somewhere at 8 meter distance here at 4 second. Right? Now from here 5th second again it shows that it is at 8 meter distance only. It was at 8 meter distance here at 4 second and on the 5th second it is still at 8 meter distance. It is standing there itself. It is not moving and how can our graph take a position now? So for 5th second it has to be again at 8 meter distance only. Now go ahead for the 6 second you know the vehicle still there at 8 meter distance. So the next point will be at 6 second again it is at 8 meter distance. And therefore again it will be in the same direction and till even the 7th second it is still at 8 meter distance which means that vehicle is just standing there at 8 meter distance right so you get a graph this way now suppose if I write this uh, some name will give uh, letter C will use for this point so it becomes BC we have taken up AB in the previous part of this video and dealt with few questions here now our next question here for this part suppose if the question comes how much distance body covered between B to C between B to C how much distance at B it was at 8 meter distance at C again it is still there so can you tell me how much of distance it covers 
how much the actual path it covered right it is still there at 8 meter distance for all these 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th second and therefore no distance covered that is 0. And suppose if we are asked to find out speed between B and C, it's very easy to find because from B to C the vehicle or a moving object did not move, it, it stayed there at 8 meter only that is what this line reflects right so what should be the answer for this question zero sometimes they'll ask you a question like you know what does the line parallel to the time axis okay time axis this is time axis so what does a line parallel to the time axis in distance versus time graph represent so it can be like this what does line parallel to the time axis in distance versus time graph indicates very simple now you have understood if the line is parallel to the time axis but condition is it should be distance versus time graph that means the body is at rest the body is not moving right so we have covered portion of this as well as here now we shall go for the further representation so here we had a uniform motion here there is no motion and now we will carry our journey further right so next is right eighth second it covers 9 meter so 8th second body will go somewhere here 9 meter distance this is 8 meter so somewhere here it will be 9 meters in between 8 and 10 so now it started moving till now we are at rest so the next one is 8th second body is at 9 meter distance 9th second body is at 10 meter distance now the curve is raising right suppose if i represent this point as d and let me construct a question what type of motion from c to d represents again we have learnt it here definitely it should be a uniform motion and why uniform motion equal distance is covered in equal intervals of time right and suppose again if i ask you a question how much of distance body covers between c to d from c to d how much of distance body covers look at this distance time graph from here it has started it is ending somewhere here so how much of distance body covers between c to d just right from 8 meters to 10 meters this is d point and this is b point or c point so distance covers means you have to find out on distance y axis if you are asked to find out time you should see x axis so how much distance here just 2 meter distance right how much time body takes from c to d if that question comes again very simple you have to see on time axis that is from 7 to 9 understood that's 2 seconds now suppose what is the speed between C to D right the question is what is the speed of that object when it moves from C to D and suppose if I ask you to compare this speed with this speed where it moves from A to B if two speeds are compared which speed is greater right look at this question compare the speed of the object between a to b and between c, c to d what will be your answer answer in your comment box so this video tutorial is a basics for understanding future equations we come across in this video so this is very important
okay next we shall go for speed versus time graph again with the same type of question right thank you